Hey, my name's Natasha, you're watching Something About Movies, and this is my review for Larry Crown. So, Larry Crown stars Tom Hanks and Julia Roberts, but it also has a good supporting cast, including Wilmer Valderrama and George Takei. This movie is about a man who gets fired at his job from UMart because he doesn't have a college education, so he decides to go back to college, and that's really where the story begins. I think the biggest misconception about this movie is that it's a romantic comedy, and the truth is that it's really more hard to define than that. It's kind of... It's got elements of both, but it doesn't really focus on any one style, and I think that works for this movie because it's a look into this man's life and how he's dealing with his struggles and him trying to find new direction for himself. There are a lot of characters in this movie, and I think they pulled it off. Normally in a movie with a lot of characters, I have trouble remembering them or who they are in the story and things like that but in this one everyone had their role there's a lot of chemistry between all the characters and all the different relationships and friendships throughout the movie and they were memorable and another problem with it being named a romantic comedy is that it really doesn't focus on the romance between Larry Crown and his teacher that's really almost kind of a subplot the real main focus in this movie is just Larry Crown trying to find his way after being fired and trying to find a new direction in his life. And it may seem like there are a lot of subplots and the movie just doesn't know what kind of movie it wants to be, but it's about his life. And in life, there are a lot of people that you meet and that you know, and there are a lot of different events that happen at the same time. So in a way, life has a lot of subplots. And I thought that this movie did a really good job in portraying every different aspect of his life in an interesting way that moves the plot forward. I think the most interesting part of the movie is the whole college experience that he goes through. And the real life experience is a lot similar to how they portrayed it in the movie. There is a really eclectic group of people that you meet when you go to college. There's always the mature students who are looking for a new direction in their life. So it's really, it's realistic and grounded and I really appreciated that in the movie. And it wasn't just a big sort of parody of a man's life. It's really unfortunate that it's seen as a romantic comedy because it's a lot more simplistic than that. And I know the ending wasn't really showy and extravagant and climactic, but it was a satisfying way to end the movie and I thought it was really good. So I'm going to give it 3 out of 4 stars. It was good. I don't think you need to see it in the theater, but it would be a good rental. And I think it's one of those movies where in a couple years from now you're going to pick it up from your collection or from a rental place and you're going to say, oh yeah, I remember this movie. It was pretty good. I think I'll watch it again.